Hi and welcome to Springy Family Gaming. It's Mummy Mix Springy here and I'm joined by Bogler and today we are going to do more logic because Bogler is the logic expert. Say hi Bogler. How's it going guys? Yay, awesome. It's awesome. And today, like we are going OP and from now on in this build we are going OP with logic and any time that I need advice I'm going to go to Bogler because he's just so good at it so the first thing we're going to do is um, first I'm going to send you some money <laughs> because <laughs> I do need to at least pay for something here so I'm going to send you a thousand and that is for a piece of wood correct a log yep it is right so back here it's a gold wood for your doors yeah I'm having trouble getting the right length of wood, so I'm just going to cut this bang on 10 unit mark. This is going to take a while. Um, so while I'm chopping this, oh, you're going to chop from that side, are you? Yeah, give you a little bit of a hand. Oh, good. Oh, look at that. This is going faster. Oh, it's been a while since I've used this axe. I've been doing too much logic lately. Uh, yeah, there we go. That was quick. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to change my settings quickly on my sawmill. So, this is for the long planks for the security gate. We're not doing the security gate today, but we are prepping for it. So, um, this is going to come down to 0 0.8 of a unit. Uh, so, the X is 3 and the Y is 0 0.8. That's done. So uh, we can feed one through. And that one is at 10 units. This one here, the other end of that, is just under 8 units. Oh. Now I have to rotate this, otherwise it will not go in. So it has to be the green going widthways. Uh, no, it didn't go through. Let's push it back in. Push it in. Yeah, you'll probably have to hold it because I got my base in here. There we go. Uh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. My wood is flying everywhere. Oh! I got shot in the face by one of them. Oh my gosh. It's just going everywhere. I have to move it out of the way because it's going to come out and probably cause issues. So. I'm bearing one of your spawning pads here for the moment. That's fine. That's, oh my gosh. I've got to get these ones out of the way. Oh. <gasps> quick, quick. Oh my gosh. I keep... <laughs> This is... Oh my god, my truck! Where did my truck go? I'm like, I grab one piece of wood and another one shoots out directly at me. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. oh it's gonna come out. Uh, I have to move this truck. I've... Oh my gosh. Wood is so glitchy. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Moving this, moving this. Maybe we should have done some of the build before we did the log. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, you got woodlets like being pushed into your land. Really? I just grabbed this piece of redwood from the center of your dirt, from actually inside the dirt. Wow. Okay, I think I just need to move this truck. Oh, there's a chair in the way. Oh my gosh. Move the chair. Oh, it's out. Oh. So you can move it. Yay. Is it completely out? Yep. Ah, perfect. That is a nice long one. So we're going to get two out of this gate because it's going to be quite a tall gate. I'll put this one in. What a mess that was. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't even rotate it. Here we go. Yep. Settle down. Settle. Nope. It's not working with me. All right, just drop you might it. Have to, yeah, you might have to fine tune it. E and plonk. Wow, that is like it's not <laughs> it's not quite twice the length of the other ones, but it's if, close. Yeah. 
I can get some more really super long ones and pay for them, then I could probably do an awesomely high gate, which will be mm -hmm. almost impossible to put the pieces into. Oh, wow. Can, can you imagine just what you'd even be able to bring in through that door? I know. That there would just be a massive hole that you're able to open up in the side of your base. Yeah. Crazy. Because that's actually one issue that I've got is I want to build one of those sliding doors so I actually have more height for my doorway. Yeah, that is just <laughs> so high and tall that who knows. Especially if you can get a handful more of these things, you can just kind of keep widening it. Yeah. But it only goes a width of three. Like I'd like to go wider than three per plank. That would be nice. Get yeah. an extra wide sawmill. Yeah, and not only that, it would actually provide more stability, I think. I would assume so, yeah, especially because then you can have it in less pieces for a larger door. Yeah. Wow. Well. That's done. Now, my base yeah. is starting to look like code primates. Rather messy. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you have to get it cleaned up and then you still can't find anything, then you know you're on codes level. That's right. Um, so that gate is going to be starting... I was going to start it under the bridge. I thought about starting under the bridge, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough lead up here. Well, what we could do... I can take these tiles out, you see. Yeah. What we could do is, I would assume you'd want to do maybe starting somewhere in here at the actual turn point or at the edge of your staircase should be the starting of your gate. Yep. The gate part. That means the ramp has to start at the entrance. Well, you could do the ramp part starting here because you're just looking at doing probably, what, about a two, three unit up in the air? Because you can put the the rollers right on the ground. Yeah. So right, we'll take these out and we're just going to stack them over there for now. Yeah, you want to rip those out? I'll look at spacing wise for conveyors. Um, yeah, right. The, so the first ramp is going to be the short ramp, like it is with my other gate. But the, there'll mm -hmm. be a longer one beyond it after the, the door opens up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to continue from this first ramp and stay that height of floor all the way into the, the big ramp for the actual drop spot? Or did you want to come back down and then go back up? No, I want to keep it. I'll keep it high. Just okay. to keep it um, looking, rather than looking like a inchworm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. keep it consistent. Constantly. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. Do you want the doors to be spot centered of the staircase or at the far end of the staircase? Uh, I think if we're starting the ramp, we'll have to work out with the ramps Base the way price. I normally do it, where the door is going to start with the conveyors. So we've got, oh, that's the other thing I forgot to say is we've got like all the conveyors here. I bought some in my last video, some straights for the actual door. This here is going to be for the other system beyond it, which we haven't even talked about yet. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get some ramps in and work out where the first conveyors will start. It's going to be a pretty big build, so we're already starting to prep for some of it. Yeah. So the first wedge we want is a 1x4, and we're going to... Put that in here. Oh, let's flip it over. So, there we go. E. Oh, wait, it went in the air because I was in the <laughs> way. I actually stood in the way of my own wedge. Um, actually, oh, you just put that right in your face when it's spawned. Yeah, I'm going to start it there and I'm going to stick some tiles in here actually. Let's just get the tile distance right first because I want to use the right tiles. Uh, floors, tile, I need one more, one more unit over, so I'll just move it there, so that's where we uh, get the uh, 
Da, tile, tile, tile. Oh, now I've got to come back one. I'll just put a line of these in. Because it's all about, it's not only about functionality, it's about aesthetics. So let's get them in there. I've got the green going the wrong way, by the way. I've got to fix that. Because on, on top of that, too, the aesthetics actually can lead to things being nice and functioning and smooth. And that's clean right. Yeah. <coughs> uh, oops, yep, that's right. Um, and the benefit of doing this is that you don't end up with tile gaps, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Planning ahead is good for yeah. a build like this. Uh, I'll just tell everybody <laughs> here, if ever you're looking at my base, and you notice that there's that little bit of a gap between the cherry wood up on top of my viewing floor and my second floor, it's because I wasn't paying attention to tiles. I put a tile in the, the height of my base, and well, now it's not one unit up there. <laughs> and a lesson to all is, yeah, make sure you've got enough room, like a full tile or a full, <laughs> full stud, sorry. A full studs, that's the thing. That's the mm -hmm. thing you have to watch out for. My last build was a mess for that. That's why my data size is so huge. <laughs> like, I did not follow the full stud rule. There should be a full stud rule. Yep. Any any time that you're uh, doing any kind of a building, make sure that you always round it to the nearest full unit before you move on. Yep. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it is right, but it is right. That's the thing I'm doing right now. I'm so slow with laying out blue for prints. It's not funny. Like, I might have. I... Uh, yeah. Here, which ones do you need to wear? You need the 1x4s? Yeah, I got it. Or the 3s? These ones are the 1x4s. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do 2 of that, right? You said to do 2. Oh, hang on, how do I normally do oh, I did 2. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is your... This, this is, is my your original. Game. Yeah. Yeah, I because forgot. Because then behind this will be my stuff. Should be plenty high for that. Ah, oh, oops, over that back. Move. It just needs to fit a perfectly um, fit one stud uh, on top. So, it's do you want to go to a third high or do you want to use tiles above this? Because if you, as long as you line up your edges, you're still at a full unit. Um, I am using. Uh, no, I think I used floors and posts on top of the conveyor. Why is this not lining up? There's something that's overlapped somewhere. It looks lined up to me. Oh, it is, but it just looked a bit different for some reason. Okay. The ramps are always tricky to tell if those corners have matched up or not. Yeah. So then you need one more higher. Uh, let's have a look. So. If you're going to actually build anything more than just a tile on top of there, you're going to have to go to one more. I could flatten out. Because um, what this has, the door part is going to be in the center, correct? So mm -hmm. the if I just show you quickly, the post will go tilt. Post will go onto the conveyor. Uh, Let's just get it into position here. So that is the height we need, which is at the height that it is now. Okay. And then, yeah. um, then I'll put on a floor, just a regular floor, and tilt that, and flatten that out, and rotate it. The floor goes. Rotate that one more time. E. There, and you can see the gap. That'll be the gap for the door right there so this would become a floor here like that i think it's lined and up and that is one unit okay yeah okay and then um on this side we're going to go higher again so 
that's going to be interesting for the wiring up of that conveyor. Okay, so I'm going to put some more floors in here. Let me see. How wide do these get? Do you know exactly how wide your planks are? 0 0.8. And the gap is one stud, so it has a 0.2 difference for it to allow well, I'm, movement. Um, I'm talking Oops. as you have them in your door, the, the the wide flat face that's facing you. Do you know, you know how wide those are able to be? Three units? Three units maybe? is the max, yeah. Okay, so three units then. You're going to have, what, three pieces in there? Um... Uh, well, my other gate had more than that. So. I would assume you probably had four. Last time I think I had four or five in my other gate, but this gate's bigger, so it might need more, because there's more, more gap. You could even put this conveyor all the way up against that ramp if you would like. I could. I could try that. I don't know if it'll work with the, the like snap to stud rule that it currently has, but we can try it. I don't know if it'll go over one more because it's like 0 0.1 in the gap. Can you see it? It should. Let's just let's give it a shot here in this corner. So I'll take this wall floor, sorry, and put it up against here like that. Then this will be simplifying and you'll spend less wood. there there's still the gap is still yeah. oh I see yeah rather than um, bothering with the extra floor, floor. piece just right yeah. up against it yeah up there and then is this one tiles width that we can fill in It's a, yeah, it's um, a tiny tile okay. switch, yeah. So, we can move those. I just didn't want the undercarriage of the truck with the weight of the wood to get to caught. Scrape. Yeah, but I mean, it should be fine. Like, we should have... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like it's an extra bump or anything, so as soon as it goes flat, we just have to make sure we stay flat for long. Oh, yeah, one more, which is perfect because we've got wiring that we have to put under there, so we can't really do much mm -hmm. else but make it flat there. Right around my buff. Darn it. I'm... All right, so I'll get some more conveyors and straights. And we're going to rotate. Have I got a straight or a slant? Uh, the boxes on the left square are the straights. Why did I just put it there? And of course we need to hide it underneath the stairs so um, it'll tuck away. Actually, so I'm going to have to get rid of the yellow here as well. I didn't even realize that. Um, otherwise I was thinking too, with depending on how wide they are, is it going to be the width of your entire doorway here? Or are we going to be doing it in the middle and... Part of this will just be extra? Uh, well, the actual door will come to here to here, but it will conceal away f through okay. here, so it's going to block the path, essentially. Okay. So I'm going to have to think about how I can, um, maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll build a path going um, around it, around the door with a door okay. access on both sides or something. So let's get that in. One more just for the actual door. OK, 
okay so that's that um, and which side am I going to hide it or am I going to get them to join in the middle no I can't do that because they both need to be you tapped could... you could have them join in the middle yeah but I can't because then I'll have to uh... all you'd have is just uh a string of wires with an inverter in the center on one switch, so then that they all meet in the center, and then when you flip them, they pull out from the center. You just go and you tap them in the center, and they should slide on out. Hmm. We could try that. Do we have like so? These will. So what it would be flip would that be that way. Like, Oh, I yeah. oh, see. So that will meet in the middle. So it would be like this. So they would meet in the middle, and then you just put an inverter switch in the center here with the wires. So this side is active, this side is inactive, so then they're opposite directions. When you flip the switch, it just turns them the other way around. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. I don't have an inverter, though. I haven't been to the logic store yet on this build. <laughs> but it's okay. That will work. And we can put it down far enough on the bottom there that it won't interfere with anything building on top of it. Yay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you need an inverter, I can always sell you one. Yeah. The other thing is, what if one plank gets jammed and the other one goes forward more than the other? Well, we'd have to play around with that little bit as well because I could see with extra leg that inverter slowing down and then all of a sudden one half takes an extra five seconds to open up than the other half yeah and cause issues too yeah. so it'd be easy we have to play around with them. yeah that would be an issue okay let's put in a tile here so oh, these tiles are going to work with me then I'm going to grab one of the big ones. Just do this here real quick. And put it here. There we go. So that's going to work work its way around the gate. Like that. And we need some more conveyors out. So Let's check the... There we go. I'm trying to think how many we need on in the wings. Hiding away. Um... That wasn't supposed to match up like that. No, just... uh, I would say... Three on each side. Because we can always put a, like a... But, it, but something to butt it up against on the actual computer. Yeah. That'd be good. I think three. Yeah, because three on, three off. Yeah. Move the bold and brash. And move this to here. Come on. Slide in. Doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay. So we can get some more on the other side. A uh, couple more. I'll need to buy one more. Got about half of the tiny tiles on so far. Nice. So I'll quickly go grab one more uh, straight conveyor. Oh, just walk over. I don't need to take a truck. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, yep, definitely the next 
thing that I will have to do is an end times run after <laughs> this episode to pay for yeah. all the things. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the tricky things. You start getting me involved and it starts becoming a fortune. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making purchases at our favorite shop, the Logic Store. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And riding the worst game show in the world, the <laughs> boat. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you never know if you're going to win or not with that thing. Yeah. So, um, technically speaking... We need the groove for the planks to meet up in the middle, correct? Uh, yes. So, uh, these large tiles, I see. Is that just to match up the The, the tiny tiles, yeah. So, so that, these ones can they now be deleted. Ah, uh, yeah. They become scaffolding in, in a sense. Well, not scaffolding, but you know what I mean. Yep, they became a backing that I was just building off of. Which is really good. Very clever. There you go. That's a tip from Bogler for you. <laughs> if you're ever doing a lot of little tiny tile work and edges don't want to line up, build off of another blueprint. Yeah. And this floor does not want to line up. Oh, there we go. E. Yeah, got it. Do our hatch or do it? Does our conveyor system actually line up with the center, the the bridgeway here, though, or your entryway? It is. It's all completely... Um... This is the center here, but is this the center of the conveyors? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was wondering, is if the doors were going to come together in the center of the doorway. Yes, they should yes. be fine. Oh, you've got that one? Uh, I think I accidentally grabbed it and then I put it back. Oh, we both your... did. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> I so got the funny. tiny post. Come on. Oh, this doesn't want to lower down. Oops. Um, I'll put some posts in and you can do the floors. That might help. Alright. I just put that post back so you may have to re-grab it. That's cool. To row tilt. Oh no, I left a gap. Those blueprint, the tiny tiles, um, they um, kind of hinder the vision a little bit, but. Yeah. Here we go. We got it. I always hate dealing with leaving those a large amount of percentages up there. It just blocks everything. Yeah. And E. <laughs> Well, even my own arm is in the way. Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. A little bit trickier, this. Now we're moving. Yeah, the spacings are always the trickiest part to figure out in these sorts of builds. Yeah. But now you're going to have a little bit of a raised roadway here, so you're going to have to build ramps the whole way along the sides to come down to the rest of the base. Yeah, most of the build is going to be up higher as well anyway. So what's underneath might just be storage or... Um, Hide away logic. Or a subterranean uh, oh, neon wire garden, garden or something. There you go. Yeah, something different. Come on. Let's get rid of this With post. Me. I was holding me up. Oh yeah, you're right. The road can continue on on a tile. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we can inc just... incline it once more. Just gotta make sure you line it all up. Alright, I'll get this moved. Oh no, my tile is higher than that road. Darn it. Rather than right up against it. 
Yeah, you're right. There was one unit off. That's good. Claws. Okay. Groovy. I mean, it is a groove. <laughs> <laughs> Do this side. And. This one just doesn't want a place for me. Maybe. There we go. Alright, that's uh you're right, I'm having We should so start to wires here. Did you wanna just do it where they slide one way or did you wanna do an inverter in the center? Uh I'd like to try both ideas, so we'll have to not leave it not seal it yet. Uh okay. inverter seven oh two twenty, isn't it? Yes, do I you, believe. Do you have any spare on your base I could buy one I do I'll send you 220 and it will auto save our progress how handy is that nice um, send money 220 transfer wait gotta go here we go transfer pending done Sweet. Now I'm on my way back with it right now. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to grab a couple of little bits of gold. I'll cut this down. It's probably too big. Cut the... Okay, I can cut this in... I can cut this in half. No, I'll feed it through and make a plank with it. Uh, what side do you want your switches on? Um, uh, I think I'm going to have all of my like switches on this side. Oh no, wait, so, if I'm driving in um, and the, on the left, then I'll have to be on the left for access. Right. Yeah, But on this side, it'll be on the left as well. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, on the left, closest to the cab driver's side. Sounds good. All right. Uh, oh, that's right. I was chopping a bit of wood. Chop, chop, chop. I'll just check how we're tracking now. All right. We are pretty much done for the very first episode on this build. We are quite close to... Um, getting the, the foundation at least done yeah so this was a foundations episode really mm -hmm. um, the Layout. wiring will probably have to go in the next one I think yep because I'm right at the point where I'm about to start looking at that yep I'll just chop this and fill in a couple of tiles quickly I wonder if it's going to explode when it meets like an atom. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it didn't. Nice. It did split, just not what we hoped. Oh, 95%! Oh my gosh, I'm going to get a little bit of rubbish wood and fill it oh. in. So much lag. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I've got some... No, I don't. Let's go chop one here quick. Choppy chop. Let's see if I have any scrap wood right by my door. There we go. Let's feed this through. Wow, this project is ambitious, that's for sure. 
<laughs> wow. It'll be a few episodes before we're completely done with it. Yep. Let's move the white wood. There we go. Got a little bit of scrap wood. I'll just chop it down a little bit. 86 for the other half of that piece. Done. Yay! Okay, all right, yep, okay, this is where we're going to end it. But first we do, before we do that, we're going to recap what's happened so far. We have put down the foundations. This is a foundations episode, so we've got the ramp starting to go up, we've got the conveyors underneath, we've got the gaps all in, uh, and the continuation of the road will go on beyond this. Um, and the considerations to this build is making sure that it's centered, that um, all of the wires are well hidden and functional. So thank you Bogler for this first um, uh, help on building the security gate and it's going to be so awesome going forward, don't you agree? I do, this is going to be a really nice system. Yay, can't I'm wait. Kind of what was that? I'm kind of jealous now. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to build one. <laughs> but no. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure this was dead center of the base, which it absolutely is. Mm -hmm. So when I started out expanding, I made sure I kept things as from the beginning to be yeah. awesome. I just kind of eyeballed my center tower into my base, and you'll actually notice it's just a little off-centered. It's a little to the left. So it's it's not bad, but kind of bugs me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little things like that. That's our, how our building minds work. We want to make sure everything's perfect. Um, mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the little um, bell to get notifications on when this build is coming up. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you again next time for Springy Family Gaming. Bye! Bye!